welcome back, guys. Let's take a little trip. Just me and you. Come on, let's go. Here we are in Dallas. Today. I thought those chairs were super interesting with that wall in the background. Nobody sitting in there. The camera settings I've got some 500 speed in the camera, and the shutter was 30th. Aperture is 1.8, so it was definitely a struggle to get low light. I can't be 100% sure. I don't have my light meter with me, so I was using that app. See how they turn out. Yes, that was the end of the Texas trip. That's all there was, but hey, we had some fun. What coffee are we drinking today? That's the question. Let me introduce you to something organic. Simply nature. That's what we're drinking today. All right, we got it queued up in the uh, lighthouse mug. And what I like about this coffee bean is that it's organic, fair trade, and single origin. And this cost me five and a half dollars at Aldi's. So it's coffee of the day. That's what we're drinking today. All right. So, anyways, this trip, this trip to Texas was a quick one. There for work. If you don't know, I'm a videographer. Actually, I want to walk you through a little bit of what I'm using today to film this. Check this out. This is kind of interesting. Got the nucleus here. This is, I'm able to pull focus by myself. And I've got a little wireless monitor right here. All right, y'all, this is what it looks like. That's the light with the grid. Here's the tear deck. You can see all the focus peaking so I can tell what's up. See, so here's the camera. We get that Zeiss Contacts the uh, modded out vintage photo lens. We get the wireless tear deck. There is the little nucleus. Here's the controller for the nucleus. You can see it's moving. And I just wear that on my neck and I check the focus there. And this flag here is just blocking some of that sun coming in. Also, let's take a look at the cameras. The black and white film, we have the trusty XA. I took my new F1 to Texas with that trip. I got it right here. Check it out. Let me pan, focus. There it is. And let me tell you what I like about this camera. First off, it's built like a tank. It's built far better than the AE one. But check this out. This top pops off of here. Look at that. I can now look through the top, down, down and through it. And I'm shooting. That's amazing. I don't use it that often, but on the last video, I went to Cumberland City. I did use it a lot, so watch that, but this is what it looks like. That's a great camera. I love that camera. The light meter in it doesn't work though. Like I said, this thing's built better and listen to the noises you get. They're far more gratifying than the AE one. That's quality. Anyways, that's enough. Let's go to Seattle. It's 6.26 in the morning. And I'm tired. But we're going to Seattle. Let's go. You better believe I'm taking my film camera with me. I gotta load it up with some 50D on the Contax T. We're headed out. Gonna take some shots. The Jason Wayne show. Don't you know? Alright. Well, catch you on the airplane, alright? And you guys know me, I'm gonna get my coffee. And this is a coffee shop in Nashville called Eighth and Roast. Anyways, off we go. And I don't really like heights, but here we are anyway flying through the clouds and this is Utah and I love Utah probably one of my favorite states in America and we landed I took this banger and this banger
first night at the hotel, looking around in amazement, Seattle is a very cool place. Again, this 50D film is totally sweet. I really love it. I like the warmth I get with it. So that's a jellyfish. I saw a jellyfish. And I saw some uh, steelhead swimming by for you anglers out there. And it's over, it's time to go home. So once we got home, took a couple days to chill and we have to go and shoot a wedding now in Cape Cod. So let's go to Cape Cod, I've never been, let's go. A little supernatural, a little tunnel. We are actually hauling through there. Driving around, lots of traffic, super late at night. Had a two hour bus ride to this place. So this is my room. So what we got going on, that 1DS. Of course, the Pentex 645, the Canon EOS 1V, 75 with autofocus to 45. We got 2818 to 51.4. Got a bunch of film, that Canon F1, some sense still in it, tungsten 135. 17.4, 50 macro. We got our two. There's the Context T. We got Opus XA. We got our light meter. We got a few, a few backs with us. We got a Pentex flash. Some more batteries. Yeah, and that's it. We're good to roll. Hang on, pause it right there. I want to show you something that's kind of cool. Look at this thing. This goes right onto your camera and then it goes actually like this and then you can pop it down and zoom in and check. How cool is that? I actually use this thing quite a bit with longer lenses like an 85 to a 135 and it really helps me nail the focus, believe it or not. So anyways, that's an eBay find. Just type in Canon magnifier. I think it paid like $30 for it. Anyways, okay, roll that tape. There's a boat that I didn't take a picture of. This is not your house pet. This is a wild coyote just running amok. Hey coyote. Have I ever told you I'm the coyote whisperer? That was my nickname in high school. Obvious, why? Anyways, back to shooting. This place was awesome. Unfortunately, I didn't have much time out there on the peninsula. But I managed to take a few shots. There's the XA. So we had a couple days to get situated and chill out and now we're gonna transition into shooting a wedding. So I got a couple shots here. I didn't really wanna to share too many, but here you go, let's check them out. So that's what my life looks like. I get to go and do some pretty cool stuff and I'm very thankful for that. I think my favorite shots were the Seattle stuff, the Cinestill 50D. 
I've learned to really love this stuff. It's just, it's great. I like it. It's a cool look. I'm going to keep shooting more of that. So this is something else I'm really proud of. This is a fly bug assault. I really dislike flies. And uh, this thing here, I can shoot them now. Anyways, see you guys soon. Bye.